I'd like to divulge my deepest secrets. Well, the two marketing tips I want to share aren't particularly secretive, but since they've contributed to my success, I thought you might like to know about them. One costs money. The other one doesn't cost a dime. In this episode, I want to talk about BookBub. Now, BookBub is a marketing company that's been around since 2012, but I really didn't think too much about it until a few years after that. I'd begun publishing my own titles and was having trouble getting reviews. When I discovered one of my author friends had over 600 reviews on one of her books, I was flabbergasted. After all, when your reviews are in the single digits, getting six, seven, eight hundred reviews or more seems like an impossibility. I sent my friend an email asking how she'd managed to get so many reviews. Her answer? BookBub. When I looked at BookBub, however, I was dismayed to discover how pricey it was. I was used to spending under $50 to advertise my books with other marketers, so the cost seemed prohibitive. Worse, the idea of paying someone hundreds of dollars to help me give my book away for free made me physically ill. So I dismissed that option and went on with smaller companies where a successful ad might sell a few dozen books for me. Still, I continued to see posts about BookBub in my various writer groups and how authors were ecstatic with their service. I was also intrigued by the number of authors who had applied for a feature but had been turned down again and again. Because no one ever received feedback on why their book was declined, speculation ran rampant on what BookBub was looking for. Was it a stellar cover, a snappy blurb, an illustrious award, or the number of reviews? Some authors would actually write long notes to the curators at BookBub, begging to be considered. Being approved for a feature was almost akin to a seal of approval, or winning the lottery, receiving a letter of acceptance from Hogwarts, or a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. With such enthusiasm, how could I resist? I applied for my first feature in April 2015 for one of my fantasy novels. When it wasn't selected, I applied right away for another fantasy novel and was declined right away. My third submission was in June for another fantasy novel, but it was also not selected. By now, I was gnashing my teeth in frustration, but I decided to submit one of my historical romance novels, Larkin. Now, I knew Larkin had no chance of being accepted, because it had only 27 reviews. It was exclusive to Amazon, and it had no prestigious literary awards. But I submitted it anyway. Color me shocked when Larkin was accepted. The feature ran in June of 2015, and it was a huge success. I made the cost of the feature back in one day, and then I had a period of six weeks in which my sales were exceptionally profitable. I finally understood why being selected for a BookBub feature was such a big deal and how BookBub allows independent authors to compete on the same playing field as authors published by the top houses. Being selected for a BookBub feature, however, doesn't automatically put you on some kind of magically approved BookBub list. After that feature, I applied two other times that year for fantasy books, but those books were not selected. I did have three other featured deals that year, but they were for historical romances. From 2015 to 2019, I've had 25 book book features, but none of them were for fantasy books. I don't even bother submitting my fantasy books any longer. And by the way, not all of my applications for historical romances are accepted. For example, I've not had any success with anything other than book one in a series. In addition, one of my most popular books has never been accepted for a feature deal, despite the fact that I've applied for a deal twice. How do you make money giving books away for free? Readers who enjoy your style will buy other things you've written. And if your book is exclusive to Amazon and is part of the Kindle Unlimited program, you get credit for the number of pages read. I've had close to 100,000 Kindle Unlimited pages read in a single day before, which works out to be about $400. Some authors do better. I like making that kind of money. So. How do you get selected for a featured deal? I don't have any inside information, but I suspect the strongest factor is the cover. Your cover must be professional, appealing, and spot on for the genre. 
Put another way, a reader must be able to instantly identify the genre from the cover. Unless you're a household name, I don't recommend trying anything avant-garde or overly creative. All that being said, what are the drawbacks to BookBub? There are a few, starting with the expense. I've never run anything but a featured deal for a free book because I simply couldn't afford it. Even so, featured deals for free books still cost a great deal of money. I'll enclose a link in the description below to the BookBub price list, although those prices are subject to change. In addition, the cost of a featured deal for historical romance has gone up a great deal since 2015, and I presume the other categories have gone up as well. Because of this increase, it's become much more difficult for me to make my money back on a feature. Whereas it used to take one or two days, now it may take four days or longer. And I've been hearing reports that some authors aren't making their money back at all. It's uncommon, but it does happen. Another drawback to a BookBub feature deal? Maybe some bad reviews. When you give your book away for free or at a deep discount, your book may be downloaded by readers who are not necessarily your audience. Sometimes these people will find nothing good in your book at all, and they'll be angry for having read it, and angrier still at the author for having written it. So even though you might expect an avalanche of reviews after a BookBub feature, most of them perfectly lovely, you must brace yourself for the occasional unflattering comment. This won't happen to every author, of course, but it's acknowledged by most authors to be a phenomenon. It comes with the territory, as they say. The next drawback to BookBub is a measure of uncertainty. You might be thinking that a good strategy would be to get one of your books featured by BookBub every two months. Well, it doesn't always work out that way. BookBub selects the books it wishes to feature for reasons of their own, and it doesn't care about your carefully laid plans. For example, I needed a feature deal to coincide with the launch of the audiobook version. Guess what? The book was not selected for a feature deal, and the audiobook launch fell back to earth with a rude, soft, squishy sound. Furthermore, you don't have any control over the date your feature deal will run. You might request a particular date, but BookBub won't necessarily honor it. All you know for certain is that your featured deal won't be scheduled for any further out than 30 days from when the book was accepted. You might be wondering, why should you apply at all? Well, I wouldn't be where I am as an author without BookBub. For financial reasons, I wouldn't recommend a featured deal unless you have several other books to sell. The more, the better. But when you're ready, I say go for it. Next time, I'll tell you about my other marketing tip that doesn't cost a cent, but it can really plump up your bottom line. Talk to you soon. Come close. I want to tell you my deepest, darkest secrets.